I vividly remember working side by side with my grandfather in his wood shop and hearing him say on more than one occasion, shortcuts have consequences. There couldn't be a more accurate statement as it relates to polishing concrete. While it's true that following the refined, step-by-step -step process of a mechanically polished concrete floor system costs more than the abbreviated topical treated, chemically induced, and buffed polishing method, the benefits of longevity, durability, and sustained appeal associated with the mechanically polished floor will actually save the owner money throughout the life of the floor. For this video, this slab required a 30 grit grind and 70 grit honing step before it could be grouted. These are critical initial steps required to prepare the slab for polishing. The grouting process incorporates 100% solids epoxy and marble powder. This method involves an epoxy application with marble powder being introduced while specialty pans compress the two components. This 100% solids epoxy has been specially designed for polishing and its formulation allows it to be polished the same as concrete. For most effectiveness, this application should be completed using a steel trowel. The marble powder is a specialty product made specifically for the terrazzo and polished concrete industries. Avoid standard sand, as it is not an acceptable or a suitable alternative. The grout pans are beveled to push the material into the voids of the surface and help release the air from the pits. A quick grind is done to remove the excessive marble dust. This step is a cost saving measure as it will extend the tool life in future steps. The 100 grit copper is used to remove all grout overfill, and these pads also begin the refinement process. This application required two passes. Next, add a quality densifier to help the slab become more brazen resistant. The next polishing step is a 200 copper. This step removes the 100 grit scratches and prepares the floor for dry polishing. Once dry, the slab was polished by 400, 800, and 1800 grit resin pads. The surface refinement becomes apparent as the floor begins to reflect light.
The die step is optional and provides an avenue for artistic creativity for the installer. Here, a basic two color was demonstrated, however the decorative possibilities are endless. The final step is a 3500 grit resin. This step improves the clarity and removes most resin swirl. The floor is now ready for a stain protectant if required, or for immediate use. No additional time is required to open the floor to traffic. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed this segment of the BMD Learning Series. Again, we invite you to subscribe to the BMD YouTube channel and don't forget to click that bell icon to be notified when we post a new video.